with the CIO. I'm doing a documentary on your union meeting. All right, we got a house opening up in three Yes, the union meeting. What well, do you? So we're striking for better wages because I. I'm, you know, and clearly, I mean, I don't even have the time to finish my hair. This isn't a fashion statement. I really lost a button. I'm do you think you'll vote for a strike? Of yes. Course. Look at me. I'm a mess. I need better wages, better clothes. I can't get that until I get better wages. It's freezing. I'd like to get. You should take one of these and read it. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I, didn't, I don't believe I had breakfast. Breakfast? What's what's this breakfast you speak of? The CIO. Oh. I'm doing the documentary on your on the taxi cab union. Okay. So I see you're making strike. coffee today. They actually gave us money to pay for coffee and donuts. Do you believe it? You think we'll vote for a strike today? I think it's going to go, yeah, it's going to happen. It has to happen. I think we have a few co-workers that aren't supporting it, but they'll come around. If not, that's too bad. Yeah, it's going to happen. I have no doubt. Did you have coffee this morning for breakfast? Did I have coffee for breakfast? No. Yeah. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? Piece of toast. Actually, half a piece. I didn't have much bread left. I had to split it with the kids. You a taxi cab driver? I actually do paperwork, but I support them. Better wages for them means better wages for me, and they're a good bunch of guys, so. It was reported this morning that Babe Ruth makes more than the president. What do you think about that? That's absurd. Absolutely absurd. You think you should make more than the president? I think I should? Is that what you asked me? Yes. No, but I should be making enough to live on. I mean, look at the clothes I'm wearing. Full of tears and bleach spots. This is how the kids and I dress because we can't afford anything else. That's not how it should be. Well, good luck. Yeah. Good enough. Sir, I'm with the CIO. I'm doing a documentary on the taxi cab union. Yes. Is today the strike vote? Yep. And we're hoping. Is there anybody against the strike? Well, you know, I, I think everybody's a little worried. You know, there's talk about losing a job and talking about getting called a commie. I don't mind that, but, you know, justice is hard to find sometimes. Times is rough, and uh, yeah, people are scared. We need to go out, though. Did you have a breakfast, a good breakfast this morning? <laughs> You're offering. <laughs> it was reported this morning that Babe Ruth is making more than the president. What do you think about that? I hope he's got a lot of kids to support. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't follow the sports much. I kind of, I kind of worry about my fellow man, and I kind of like music. So, uh, trying to do a little bit of agitating and a little bit of marching and. You play the harmonica? Do you play the harmonica yeah. in the taxi cab? I'd rather play a Victrola, but I can't afford one now. <laughs> you know, I got to worry about the heat in my two-bit apartment, and they, they say I ain't ready to turn it on until. Real winter comes in uh, January, they said, so yeah, a step at a time. And uh, just hope we go out tonight and we can afford a little bit of, you know, the basics of life. If you go out tonight, there ain't going to be much money next week. Well, you know, otherwise, it, I don't know if you realize, they're, they're asking us to take a cut. They're, they're, they're pushing harder and harder. We can't take it. There's folks with families here, and they're not feeding their kids. You know, I'm one of the lucky ones, and uh, I just have myself to answer for, but there's, there's no... Uh, there's no sweet time here. Come to fellow brother, worn out from a day's work, and a uh, little bit of heat we get in here puts him right to sleep. I've seen this before. He's a Hello? Can you wake up? A good guy. Hi. I see you can't afford a razor. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I can't afford a scissors either. <laughs> when was the last time you had a good meal? Oh, last week. What was it? Plate of beans. That was your good meal? Yeah. What's a bad meal? <laughs> does it, does, let me ask you, does it, does it crawl on six legs? No. <laughs> Only five. <laughs> I can't afford the sixth. <laughs> it was reported today that Babe Ruth is making more than the president. What do you think about that? I think he earns it. Sounds like he got into your cabin and gave you a big tip. Well, he might have. He's the, he is the Sultan of Swat. But.
my partner there, Joe, pops in tonight. Can you afford to go to a baseball game to watch him? No, no. Welcome to barely afford to turn on the radio. What's a radio? I see you're well dressed. Yeah. And everybody else looks like garbage. Shit. Where'd you get your nice clothes? I was a doctor in Fort Malay. Okay. Hung on to me. I just and heard. I've always been a taxi cab driver. <laughs> How long have you driven cabs? Uh, five years. Hmm. Maybe forty years. You're a doctor. Look at me. Did I you was ever, a doctor. Covered did with. Did you ever deliver a baby in a taxi cab? No, no. Unfortunately, I have not. Well, fortunately, I have not. <laughs> I see, I owe him uh, doing a documentary on the taxi cab union. Yeah. I uh, I see your. Displaying that gun prominently, is it loaded? Mm -hmm. Is there, uh, do you expect violence? It depends on the people. Okay. It depends on what people want to do. Is that a matchstick you're chewing on? Um, are, do you get, are you a taxi cab driver? Nope. Do you get paid by the union? Maybe. Are you going to vote for a strike? Nope. Are you for a strike? Nope. Do you speak uh, monosyllables only? How many questions are you going to ask? I'll just keep asking until you put your hand over the, the camera. I'll keep stopping you until you go away. Is the, co is the coffee ready? It's good to go. Is the coffee ready? It's actually ready. You oh, can, can I can I stuff. can I just zoom in on your button there? Let's oh, take course. a can focus on the. It says no, no. Not happening. Too small. No. Oh, there I got it. I got it. Could you read it for me? I can. United Brotherhood of Taxi Drivers Livery Union, 1935, okay. New York City. Okay. Library, library, however you want to say it. So you're drinking coffee uh, from the exploited uh, coffee growers of Nicaragua. Do you feel solidarity with them when you drink your coffee? ATT. People call you a fat cat? Nah, I've never heard that one before. Never heard that one before? What would you do if you heard that? Well, yeah, what are you going to do? People call me a lot of different things. What do they call you? Well, they call, well forget it. Not, I don't want to talk on camera and give you some of the names that people have called me. I'm a nice guy. People don't understand that. I work hard. You think there'll be a strike vote oh, that's today? That's what I'm here. That's what I'm here for. I want to make sure there's not a strike today. Because we can't go out on strike. These guys don't understand this, how much it's going to hurt them if they go out on strike. It's a right. living. That's a living that they're hurting. But they've been cut 25%. Well, that's because times are hard right now. But I see things that are going to be picking up. They're going to be picking up soon. The country's back. We're, we're starting to go back up. We've got a good man in the White House. He's helping us out. He's behind us 100%. Has your salary been dropped 25%? Well, it was 25% across the board for everybody, 25% across the board. It was reported uh, recently that your salary is more than the mayor. More than the mayor? More than the mayor. Oh, the mayor's making a lot more than me, a lot more than me. Where's your cigar? And fortunately, I don't have one with me. I'm, uh, oh, I'm surprised. You I, usually have a cigar. Yeah, yeah. That's your that signature. You know, it is my girl Friday here. You know, she didn't bring it to me today. I haven't talked to that girl. How long have you been with the union? Uh, it's been about uh, eight years now, ten years. Have you ever been a cab driver? Well, I started out like everybody else on the street, and I worked my way up. I worked through the ranks. I'm a hard-working individual just like they are. What was the biggest tip you ever got? Uh, times have been tough when I was a cabbie. Uh, probably about uh, 30, 35 cents. What did you do with it? Well, what do you think? I went and had coffee in. Oh. How come you can afford a suit and the rank and file can't? Well, you know... Had to have a little bit of looks here. You got to make sure I look good, you know. I'm one of the union bosses here. I got to make sure I look good. I got to represent us all over the city, all over the town. When I talk to the mayor, when I talk to everybody, I can't go in there looking bad. So I had to spend a lot of my money to get the suit. I'm with the CIO. The CIO. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing a documentary on the taxi cab union. Yeah. A lot of people say that you're driving a taxi cab because you couldn't pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and get a good job. I don't care what they said. Hey, hey, you wake up, you little I'll tell you one thing, 
this is going to be a good job after tonight. What's going to happen tonight? Tonight we're voting on a strike. Does that mean we're going to get a better wage. Does that mean you're going to lose your job? <laughs> I doubt it. Not the way we're sticking together. What happens if they bring in strike breakers? What if they bring in strike breakers? If they bring in strike breakers, there's going to be a little surprise, let me tell you. You mean violence? I didn't say anything. Don't put words in my mouth. Who are you working with? The bosses? No, I'm with the CIO. I'm with the CIO, yeah. You want to get out your story to the rest of the world. I'm on your side. Okay. I travel round this country from shore to shining shore and it really made me wonder at the things I heard and saw. I saw the weary But the banks are made of marble with a guard at every door, and the vaults are filled with silver that the farmer laid it for. But the banks are made of marble with a guard at every door. Could I ask you a question? Sure thing. What do you need, sir? You think there will be a strike today? Not if I got anything to say about it. Are you against the strike? Hey, man, I'll tell you what you need to know. We don't need to be going out on any strike right now. Most of the men here want a strike. Well, maybe after they listen to what Fat has to say tonight, they'll think better. I don't need my head getting busted. The CIO, the Congress of International, the Congress of whatever. I'm, I'm with the CIO. Oh, I'm with the FBI. <laughs>